Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NetCore and uh, in this video tutorial just I am going to show you uh, if when your uh, access token is uh, getting null uh, in your uh, Dende identity server. So uh, that is the simple thing you can just get the token from the context from the web browser. So http context.get token async and there is the token name that is the my token. If you pass this uh, unnecessary names in the token, just you got a null value in the token. So just wait for some time, and I will give you a, a simple demo uh, demo for that. Uh, get token async only get the null value if you uh, if you want to get it. So here we have uh, Swagger UI and uh, okay that is the page. Okay, so just when we click on the uh, login button that token will be generated and uh, that access mm, token is getting null like that okay and just click on the login button and you will get uh, that token is null right here, here. okay so a debugging point is not created right here and uh, you will just log out again and uh, log in here Okay, and just click on the login button and you will get uh, the token is null right at here and you will see that the token is null w what is the uh, thing behind this because the name is the unnecessary name so if you want to uh, just uh, you want to get the token from there so this is the simple name you you can take it here that is the predefined name uh, for this so right here and you can just pass the access token here access token the name is the access token and just when we click on the login again and just click on hit login button the source file will be changed to no longer match and you will that uh, stop right here and start it again And you will see that your access token will be received easily by their name access token. And you will see that uh, there is the token name. If, if you if you have this is the token that is the view. This is the token. Okay. So uh, only take access token right at here. Uh, if you want a if you want to tag a token in a Dundee identity server, then access underscore token name is required. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video.